7,175 pounds and absolutely dressed to the nines. The White Hawk 27RB Couples Camping Dream Machine just rolling in here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And while you are enjoying this Halet's in a hurry floor plan in a flash, I want to give you a little backstory on this one. The specific RV in this video is actually a retail sold unit, meaning custom ordered for a Halet RV customer. They like all the normal equipment that we normally put on these here at Halet, so especially the inside, it's going to look very, very similar to normal. But you might notice something like that second air conditioner popping up over the roof line. There's also the, uh, the Jayco solar package on this. So this RV will be a really cool uh, example of the kind of RV that we have at Halet RV, as well as the kind of extra stuff that we can get you anytime. And we kind of liked how the owners put this together, so we did put at least one or two more in just like it. So we might have some with the extra air, we might have some without. You know, one will cost a little more, one costs a little less, but either way, really sharp. So what I love about this one is the way that it is similar to some other things, but I don't know that I've ever seen one exactly like it. First and foremost, a quick nod to the 21 updates going to a completely carpetless slide floor system. That is something I know folks have been wanting for a long, long time, and it makes keeping everything clean so much easier, especially there around that dining area where the majority of your you know, eating takes place. We saw the windows open during our floor plan in a flash. I've got them shut now for privacy mode, including the uh, skylight up top here so that you can see that if you don't want the light pouring in through there, baking you like an ant under a magnifying glass, you don't have to worry about it. Now we've outfitted this one, again, our normal build is a little different from what we're looking at here, but basically this RV is everything we like to do at Halet RV and then some. For instance, we normally like to swap out the sofa for this theater seat right over here. And what's cool is you see that it comes with these uh, handy little swivel stands. Well, no, what you have is two central cup holders in the armrest and then your heat massage controls over here in this cup holder. But what's kind of cool is it also includes these handy little swing out tables and it actually just slots into the cup holder section but it can easily be removed it doesn't stop you from reaching anything there you still have cup holders there you don't lose a cup holder by any stretch but it's a really cool way to be able to sit there and uh you know especially in a couple's rig like this i know my wife and i sometimes we just want to grab a bite to eat we want to just flip on netflix and we just want to watch you know whatever's on the tube here now we're past the netflix and chill phase we're more in the prime and commitment phase you know uh if, if that makes any sense anyway moving on panoramic windows all <laughs> sorry panoramic windows all the way around here if i point the camera right at them you can see there are center beams in those windows even on the slide sides they do all open for airflow another thing i love in this unit is that almost like with the exception of, no actually i think pretty much all of the lights here in the living room are on a single switch now this has the j command system which does allow you to just walk over here and with the push of a button you can just kill the lights and all that stuff. You don't have to go through the touchpad. They just have beep boop buttons for all that stuff. But what is nice is they do still have a physical switch for some of that. But what's nice about this, if you wanna sync it to your phone, lights, slides, awnings, so many features on this RV could be operated remotely. But if you're like, eh, I'm not into all that crap, Jack, you don't, you don't have to, you know? Crap Jacks, by the way, the breakfast cereal that just never made it. Anyway, the countertops, tabletops, everything you see in this are going to be a sealed edge press membrane called thermal foil. And what that means basically is that water can't really seep into this unless you crack the surface of it. But what is also kind of cool is how they have this little simulated live edge. You'll see that also, I think, up in the bedroom around the uh, bedside stands just to give it some life and some character. Speaking of which, I love those little under the dinette accent lights uh, just below those doors right there. We'll see those open as we come back through. Um, real quick while we're sitting here, one thing I do want to point out is that this RV does have these, uh, you know, theater seats, but they are a pushback recliner. It's a wall hugger and it doesn't lie flat, but if you want to kick back and take a midday snooze, you can. And that's another thing I love about this floor plan, by the way. Almost everybody else who builds this, they put the theater seat over here close to me where the dinette is located. Just like this one's little brother, the 25RB Whitehawk, which is kind of cool. Jayco builds this both ways. If you're looking for simpler, you're looking for lighter, you're looking for less jazzy pants, look at the Whitehawk 25RB at Halet RV. You want all the widgets and whizbangs and gizmos, you look at this one. Um, there's also the 272RBOK Eagle HT here at Halet RV for an even jazzier set of pants. <laughs> 
Um, the uh, TV on here is also at a sweet organic angle so that it's easy to view anywhere from the slide and down below we've got our Bluetooth and DVD system. Most brands have uh, sacrifice the ability to enjoy disc based entertainment on your campsite this one does not you can still throw a disc in you know watch your shrek on a rainy sunday afternoon if that's what you're looking for I, at least somebody once told me the world was going to roll me but i ain't the sharpest tool in the shed anyway down below that our electric space heating fireplace taking the nip out of the air and what is also kind of cool here is jaco does run hdmi wiring for that now we will come back and look at the kitchen in more detail from the other direction because frankly it's just easier to get it all into camera at the same time but a quick note here the jaco is offering 12 volt compression fridges in these white hawks that's another difference between a white hawk and a j feather by the way white hawk has a 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compression fridge whereas uh j feathers have an 8.7 and if you appreciate those kind of fine detail notes definitely hit that subscribe button and follow along with us here at Halid RV because we've always got good info coming. Now, of course, you have a sliding privacy door here for the bedroom, but what is kind of cool is you see that little silver latch right there. Jayco does include a positive latch system, so if you want to just lock it down and shut it down, you can. That way people can't just slip the door open and walk in on you. Now, the side stands up here around the 60 by 80 queen bed. They uh, also have that simulated live edge that I mentioned. Now, you will find household and USB outlets right on the face of these side stands on both sides. However, you also see there's a little switch. Well, watch behind here. You see that little blue light that kicked on, the Labatt blue light. Well, behind the hanging closets, there are these handy little like CPAP nooks. Not only do they have that little reading light, they also include a set of household outlets. So there are eight household outlets all around the bed of this bedroom right here and what that gives us is the ability to just be able to plug anything in anywhere super CPAP friendly you see the front windshield that we looked at briefly during our floor plan in a flash does have a privacy shade you can pull down and on the front side of that which you can't really see there is a radiant barrier to keep the sunshine out now the little oh, I'm running into the wall over here the bedside lights they're three stage tap one we get night light. Tap two, reading light. Tap three, blinding light. <laughs> and then their hanging closets could be used as dresser space because not everyone cares about hanging up Uncle Gary's sundress, you know? Some people just have a uh, uh, more of a t-shirt and shorts kind of need, like me. Quick note on the bedding. Like I said, this is a 60 by 80 queen. White Hawk does offer a 70 by 80 king option which is what we normally put in our Eagle HTs. The difference is an Eagle HT is taller and it can maintain full-size bedside stands without interfering with the bed. Since White Hawks are not extra, extra large, double mint gum, they have normal walk-around bedside stands. And if you get a king, you're going to lose about half of that. Now, there is an argument to be made. Some people say, yes, but I spend eight hours sleeping. I spend three hours making the bed. I want the bigger bed. I totally, totally understand that. I, I really think an eagle would probably fit you very nicely. But I would love to know. Please give me some feedback. Are we building this right with the queen bed here? Um, also, if I uh, lift this up, which is easy to do since it's on gas struts, this plywood bed base right here makes it very simple. You can see that there's a full underbed storage compartment in here as well. And it's completely separate from what you see outside. Now you do have a second door straight to the bedroom and that is going to be key in this floor plan because that is how you access the bedroom with the slide closed. But I want to look at a couple other things over here real quick. First of all, yes, of course, we have TV hookups in the bedroom. But secondly, if you build this with 50 amp service and add the optional second uh, air conditioner, this is where it would be located. It does not tie into the central ducting system. And if you get this option, you notice you do not have central air ducts in the bedroom anymore. Of course, you maintain them through the rest of the RV, but that is something that a lot of people don't think about. What that means is this is a maximally effective in terms of efficiency kind of air system. This is not centralized, but it doesn't need to because it's all dumping into one room. One other thing on here, if you add the factory solar option that we'll get to see uh, on the roof, you'll see that this is where the charge controller is located. Now, this is always where the prep for the charge controller is located. And if you're looking at it, it's saying, okay, we've got ourselves 11.7 available volts of power on that battery right now. And actually I was reading 11.4 when I started this. It's done an amazing job getting topped off. And then, because we're whew, still not done in the bedroom, 
we've got door number, well not even two, but three! And door number three is just a huge chunk of extra storage space. And this is something I like. It's a very interesting contrast to something like a 2606 WS Rockwood that we would offer here at Haywood RV because it's giving you the same space and storage as the extra slide out of the Rockwood, but it's doing it without the extra mechanical mechanism, weight and cost and maintenance of a slide. And obviously, as you see right there, we have motion lighting so that it only turns on when you need it and off when you don't. Just the way that we assume the refrigerator light does the same thing. The other direction gives us a nice chance to really take in the kitchen. And a quick note, we're looking at the modern farmhouse decor today. And if you're not into the, the very light uh, kind of distressed whites and browns, those espresso browns, not blacks that we're looking at, they make another option that's basically just all of the browns-ish. Uh, Kind of thing or is it gray it's kind of it's not brown it's gray it's grayish gray brown beige you get the idea anyway um <laughs> we already talked about the skylight this is all pocket screwed cabinetry by the way same cabinet construction as a jaco north point um just like an eagle it has that countertop to cabinet bottom backsplash over the top of that sealed edge counter there and instead of putting power outlets only under the overhead cabinets. They are still including one of these handy um, pop-up power towers. A lot of brands have started to phase those out because they are a little more expensive than just a cheap set of outlets built into the wall, but you can actually reach those things. And if you don't want them there, you fold it away. No big deal. That is a stainless double sink, by the way. You see the cutting board cover and the rollaway dish drying rack. And that folding countertop extension, you'll see that closed in just a minute when we close up the slide and get to see it in travel mode. That gives you the ability to walk past the dinette to get through most of the camper, uh, like to the refrigerator. Plywood drawers down to the floors here. They had to go with three instead of four because that countertop extension does flip. And you might be wondering, why did they only give me that little shelf below the sink? Well, that's because there's stuff down there basically like a water heater or pump they didn't want shifting cargo damaging as we pivot our way around here toward that uh, carpetless slide system we do see the uh, storage below the bench ends now here's a neat thing you can obviously get to the bench end storage here but what about the back bench well if you wanted to you could peel everything apart but you don't have to because they give us an access door on the face of the slide so it's either inside or outside or mishmash storage which Every way you want it, really. Note too, like next to the theater seat, you might have noticed a set of uh, light switches. There's light switches right there too for the lights over the slide. You don't have to go clickety clack, turn all the lights back on and off. Um, up top here, this is something that was very popular last year on Jay Feather, and they said, well, if Feather has it, then White Hawk has to have it, since Feather is supposed to be the little brother. And that is the big fan here in the living area. And that is going to be very beneficial if you're looking for good cross breeze airflow but you uh, don't want to, um, like, like you're not a fan of the frameless windows because they get less airflow. That big fan can overcome that. That's, that's what I was trying to get at. But check this out. Right over here, right as we walk in, we have huge chunk of pantry storage and a good spot here for tall stuff like pitchers for iced tea or whatever. My friends down south, sweet tea, which as a Yankee, I don't know nothing about. Anyway, other than the fact it tastes good. And then over here. It's all the storage that we just saw and then some more. They load this thing up and give it just a huge amount of storage capacity. And that's the thing. The kitchen, the bedroom, it's all loaded with good, good storage space. And folks, we ain't done because the bathroom's got a huge chunk of storage as well. But first, a second look at everything from this direction, all closed up, since it occurred to me right before I went to the bathroom area, not that I went to the bathroom, that, anyway, you get the idea, that you could, uh, you know, you've only seen it open, not closed, and it looks a lot cleaner and, and far larger this way. Now, back here in the bathroom, you've got that porcelain foot flush stool right there, and just tons of floor space. Guys, look at the leg room in this. Uh, I'm a big, tall, long-legged guy. I have no legroom issues in this. Similarly, the way that the shower is positioned with the vaulted ceiling and the skylight, I am I, I, I could stand on my tiptoes and still not hit my head if I'm standing directly in front of the uh, the shower itself. Now over here we've got this uh, you know handy magnet door catch with a backlit uh, medicine cabinet, huge sink, and notice too still sealed edge press membrane countertop. They didn't swap to a cheaper uh, sink. They didn't swap to a cheaper countertop here. They stayed in the pocket doing nice stuff. And remember how I said there's good storage over here? Well, 
I step inside this thing, you see this huge wall of uh, cabinet space in front of us. This is all above the camp kitchen. And folks, it's, uh, it's what I call, oh my gosh, kind of storage. Because when you open it up, you go, oh my gosh. And as if we didn't already have enough closet space, you have dual hanging closets plus the bonus closet in the bedroom. You have a giant wardrobe back here. I would say that this White Hawk has as much as, if not more, closet hanging storage space than something like a 310 RLTS Jayco North Point Luxury fifth wheel. So remember we have a door directly to the bedroom from the outside. That means when this slide is closed and you get into a situation like this where you say, oh man, I can't get to the bedroom with the slide closed. Well, with that extra door, you still can. Don't forget though, with the J command system, you could always Bluetooth to that thing and uh, be able to open it off of your phone. The other thing I really want to show here is, yes, you can definitely walk all the way through it as need be, but you can also maintain full, easy access to this bathroom without ever touching the slide button. Now, the first thing that always nails you right away outside is that gorgeous nose cap. When they standardized that, they gave this thing, I mean, look at those. How good do those look sitting right there right next to each other? Something else that's kind of cool is in that front storage compartment, if we take a look, you can see this actually does include its own little outdoor picnic table. It just, uh, there's a self-storing slot in the pass-through compartment, and then there's a little place, you know, well, anywhere along your campsite, if you want to set it out there, you can. Now, it's not super easy to see because that front windshield is so heavily tinted, but if you're looking at it, you can see where that roll down uh, blackout shade is doing a good job of blocking the sun in there. That's part of the reason that, you know, you're, you're not gonna be baking alive if you try to take a daytime nap. Up front, we've got our power tongue jack as well as 30 pound propane tanks. That is a uh, uncommon quality in lightweight trailers. Uh, a lot of laminated trailers, a lot of trailers, and even some fifth wheels we'll stick with 20 pound tanks. This gives us 50% more time uh, between refills, which, hey, always kind of handy. And then there's a the little details. Cool, it's a power tongue jack, but the little adjustable foot pad down there, so you don't have to do quite as much cranking. Or if you're on a goofy campsite where you're, you know, the, the, the nose of the campsite is higher physically than the back, that can, that can really get you out of a bind trying to get hitched and unhitched. Now this is set up for a simple side mount solar prep plug, but remember we do have roof solar as well. Now, interesting note on the White Hawks. They're one of the only members of the Jayco family that does this. The uh, J Feathers also ride on the same Norco chassis. It is a huck bolted Z frame. It's more of an aircraft style chassis. And it's a little more obvious if I get here a little bit closer, but you can see how it's not an I-beam. It's a Z chassis. It's made with a higher strength and lower alloy steel. What that means in English is lighter but stronger. It is a higher cost delta vector, basically. Roger, over. And what that means is, you know, a little more expensive frame, but it's doing the job of keeping the RV a little bit lighter without losing integrity. Now, the underbelly of this and the seasonality package is something I want to talk about. White Hawks have been doing this for a while, but late last year, Jayco finally cold chambered one of these things. And they said, how good is a White Hawk in the cold? And you know what they found? They found out the White Hawks passed the exact same hot cold camp testing as the full-time rated fifth wheels like Eagles, North Points, and Pinnacles. So White Hawk is the newest member of the Jayco zero degree family. So if you're looking for something that is smaller, built with luxury in mind, and capable of camping pretty much anywhere you want, anytime you want, within reason, of course, guys. This is one that's gonna do it. Now, you may have noticed how we had the slam latch baggage doors. They were magnet held back, as well as the fact that we had the uh, handy sealed baggage door hinges. All that basically, again, going into longevity. Frameless sidewall windows with sliding airflow windows on the slide sides. That's a tricky thing to say. Behind that slide, you have centralized rear corner hookups, complete with black flush and outside shower. She is set for not just rear view camera, but also pre prep for side view cameras. And this is a good time to talk about the J Smart lighting package on this. Because if you do add a side view camera, Jayco planned ahead. And the way that those uh, side marker safety lights blink with the J Smart system, it won't cause the camera to clip out. They planned ahead. 
The RT in smart, signals, markers, and reverse travel gives us these bright white lights here in the tail. And they, uh, it, it, it's like looking at a welder spark, man. It, it'll, it'll light the area up, it'll blind you. Now back here, this is what's kind of cool. And this is going to be one of the key differences between this and its little brother. The J Feather 25RB, very similar model. Does a lot of similar things. They're like same but opposite. You know, they're like negative images of one another. But this one gives us this awesome big camp kitchen out here. And I love the J Feather and White Hawk kind of low profile camp kitchen. On the left, we got a little cutting board, which interestingly is almost doubling as like a drawer as well. Um, then we have the uh, little sink space there. Now this little high-rise sprayer uh, kind of scorpion tail faucet, if you want to, you could clean the ceiling of your baggage compartment. I don't know why you do that. Or you can put it like this and turn it on and spray the kids. But hey, the other thing you can do with it um, is get that blue coily hose thing that comes with this with the sprayer handle and you can do some campsite cleanup. Household outlets back there on this galvanized rolled steel countertop, which is awesome because you can get that stuff wet and it doesn't get damaged. Now, remember we got that big fridge inside. The 12 volt fridge being optional. That fridge plus this fridge gives this RV the cold storage capacity rivaling a fifth wheel. And this screaming hot burning capital grill over here. Uh, these things were just the coolest things in the RV industry for like a year. And then Blackstone came out and kind of stole their thunder. But that thing burns hot and it is the reason these countertop sections in here are actually that uh, rolled steel material and notice that outlets on both sides of it then just a little detail work like you got the little rubber stopper here to keep that door from banging into things and this locks in place that's what these are right here right next to the old jaybird barley poppinator now they've got the um easy setup stable steps and what i mean by that is there's no more of those pull pins on there now not all the more ride stable steps use this but check this out you can literally just drop the steps let them hang there and then flickety flack you put them right down and she is solid as a rock as old bob seeger would say best in class goodyear endurance radials Everybody loved these so much, Rockwood finally said, okay, Jayco, you win. We'll start using your tires. And now Rockwood also using those Goodyear Endurance radials. I'm just glad that we have both brands here at Halet RV. They do their suspensions a little different, though, and they're both cool in different ways. I don't know which one's necessarily better. The wide stance stability axle system we're looking at right here will take a lot of the porpoising and wiggle sway out of your towing experience. That is not a replacement for proper weight distribution anti-sway hitching. It is a nice supplement too. And as we back up here, you'll see some outside TV hookups. We got a peek at our front pass-through compartment when we looked at that table, but let me get you up here to give you a little bit more detail on the subject. Not to mention the fact that you can see there's some more handy outlets. There's a ton of copper in this thing. And here is our side view camera prep that we talked about. And once again, if uh, you do decide to add an observation system, side and rear, and you flick on your turn signal, the J-Smart lighting package will not cause that camera to clip out because that would be, well, rather pointless now, wouldn't it? And once again up here, I also want to start by mentioning this is not how they normally look up here on the roof. But remember that we are always happy to get one built to your specific preferences, wants, and needs here at Haywood RV. If the one we have doesn't suit you, no sweat. We'll get one made. Um, so, obviously, we're looking at that optional second air conditioner with the 50 amp service that we talked about inside briefly. But what you weren't able to really see was the Go Power 190 watt raised panel high efficiency solar package we're looking at right here. Now, if you take a statistical median of how much power people use when they're camping, and obviously it can vary wildly by person, that package right there will give you effectively indefinite use of your 12 volt systems, assuming moderate at sunshine. Um, now, the cool thing about this too is Whitehawks, these are roof solar prep standard. That They've been doing that for years. But this package right here, if you are so inclined, what's really cool about it is it is like UPSable. It's the biggest solar package that can just be put in a box and sent UPS instead of freight. And if you don't know what that means, it means the difference between spending tens of dollars in shipping for parts or hundreds of dollars in shipping for parts. That is a very, very massive difference. Before I worked here, I worked at Yellow Freight Lines. The orange trucks that say yellow, long story, not very interesting. But uh, I learned a lot about shipping costs when I was there. And I tell you, that's a massive benefit. Now, heavy handed on the roof sealants. And of course, the Magnum Truss roof system, the plywood roof decking that we're walking on that has found 
almost nowhere else in the industry outside of Jayco. There are very, very few exceptions of other brands using plywood roof decking instead of OSB. OSB roof decks are fine. You can walk all over them. There's nothing wrong with them, but plywood is stronger. And along with their uh, roof truss system that they use, a little bit thicker, heavier build, it might add a little weight to the RV, but it also means that this roof is rated for 50% more weight than pretty much anybody else in this class. Now, couple that with the fact that you have the same roof construction, sidewall construction, plywood, 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor deck and aluminum stud construction as something like over there you see an eagle in the distance you might see a north point or a pinnacle. The full-time rated uh, Jayco fifth wheels, this has the same construction, it has the same insulation package. It's just the smaller travel trailer member of that series. That should give you a lot of confidence, give you a lot of understanding in what you're looking at here. There's a lot of engineering that goes into this. It is more than just eye candy. So if you appreciate the info, hit that subscribe button, follow along with us here at Halet RV. And as always, remember we don't do hidden fees, but we do everything else. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.